Hello and welcome again to Climb Ministries F260 Bible Study Plan. Pastor Boyle, it's good to be with you here as we conclude our second week. This is day number five, and our scripture reading for today is in Genesis chapter 16 and 17. So it's good to be with you here today. I hope you've enjoyed the videos all week, and I hope you'll continue to watch and, and listen and be a part of our discipleship program here at Climb Ministries. In chapter 16, it opens up with Sarah, Abram's wife, and she has yet to bear any children. And so she is frustrated that uh, God has not allowed for her to have children. And as a result, she takes it within her own hands because she wants what she wants when she wants it. So she says that uh, Abram can sleep with uh, her maidservant, Hagar, so that he can have an heir. Abram complies and uh, Hagar becomes pregnant. And then there's a lot of angst and animosity that exists between Sarah and Hagar and Hagar doesn't like it and she sets out to leave because Abram had already told Sarah that she could do with her whatever she wanted to do. It's after that she's left, she's in the desert in the wilderness that she is met by an angel of the Lord who tells her that she will bear a son. His name will be Ishmael. He will be against the world, the world will be against him and yet she needs to go back and to return and submit to Sarah and that uh, Ishmael's descendants will be too many to count and no harm will come to him. So she returns. Thirteen years later at the age of 99 the Lord comes to Abram and, and asks him to walk in front of him. And at that point uh, Abram bows down and kneels and and recognizes the Lord as Almighty. He is told that uh, he will have a son, he and Sarah will bear a child, and Abram finds that a little bit funny, and so will Sarah, to the point that they, they laugh. But nevertheless, they do bear a son, and his name is Isaac, and he will be the father of many nations. And in chapter 17, there is the covenant and the circumcision. God bless. Thanks for joining us today, and I hope you will join us again next week for our F260 Bible Plan.